Howdy. This is the toothpick, and this is an update on my magnetically suspended toothpick motor. Um, on the first video, it was pulling over 200 milliamps, and basically I hadn't attached the coil or I hadn't attached the reed switch. And so this is an update on it. I've, I've uh, gotten the current draw down quite a bit. It still is a five ohm coil, so it's not a microamp motor, but this is my first one, so I'm pretty proud of it and worked pretty hard on it. And I got a lot of my inspiration from the Lid Motor channel, which is my favorite channel. Um, but anyway, what I did, if you'll look right there, that's a thermostat uh, copper cable. I took them, found an old piece and cut it off. And then I attached my reed switch, which this right here, is a homemade reed switch. I made that. I made that from a piece of copper wire. I wrapped it around a a rod, like a coat hanger, and got it all nice and tight and everything. And then that center wire in there is actually a piece of canthal wire and uh, about 30 gauge. And I took a length of that and put one end in the drill and held tight to the other end with some needle nose pliers and twisted that wire until it became perfectly straight and used that for the center wire. On the very end of that, if you look, if I can focus on that very well, there, there is a magnet on there and I bought some really small magnets that are only roughly an eighth of an inch in diameter. And uh, <clears throat> I attach that to the end of the wire. And as the magnets come around, they pull that center wire into the copper windings there. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good actually. And so I'm using that for a reed switch. And um, yeah, anyway, but uh, I'm using a single AA battery, or a triple AAA battery, and it's getting low, but it's a 1.41, roughly, volts on this scale here. And uh, then on my current here, on this meter, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. It's ranging roughly from about 4.6 milliamps to about 20.3 milliamps current draw. And then over on this paper, I, I just wanted to see how much power it was consuming. So uh, I just multiplied the current times the voltage to get the milliwatts. It ranges between 6.486 milliwatts of power consumption up to 28.623 milliwatts. My coil is a 28 gauge, that's the only wire I had, so uh, 28 gauge and it measures out to about 5 ohms. It, I put it on a sewing bobbin and uh, that LED light there is, you can't really see it in the camera, but it's actually really purple and uh, it came off of a set of Christmas tree lights. But. Uh, yeah, and then there is the circuit diagram, which is very, 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 very simple. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of this. I worked really hard on it. Uh, I kind of had this piece of uh, wood here left over that had no use. So I decided to hook the reed switch rod onto that. 
and I was able to, I'm able to adjust the speed with it by adjusting the distance from the reed switch to the magnets on the rotor and it works pretty cool really uh, but uh, I'll go ahead and adjust that just so you can see what it does I'll slide this in and and it's gonna pick up speed as I do it Now, with it, with it going faster like that, that reed switch is closer to it, so I guess it's working better, but but it also pulls a little more current. It's on up to 27, 27, 28 milliamps, and it's pulling my voltage down. I think that battery's about wore out, but anyway, uh, it's pulling that voltage down to 1.386 volts. But, uh, Pretty impressive, I think. And anyway, yeah, this is my first first uh, motor, and uh, I wanted to make a toothpick, magnetically suspended toothpick motor. After watching Lid Motors toothpick series uh, on all the different motors he made out of toothpicks, I thought it'd be really cool to build one that was magnetically suspended. And uh, I got it to work. Now the toothpick is kind of warped and it's not straight. And uh, I did have to add those neodymium magnets onto those ferrite magnets that I had originally wanted to work because it was just too heavy to be held up by the ferrite magnets. Uh, once I put the neodymiums on there, it, it held up really well. Um, the needle right here, it, uh, let me get the light here. And I'm going to slow it down here too. Let me get this slowed down so you can see that needle. Here's the deal with the needle. When I first made it, the needle was too long and it wouldn't work, so I, I, everything was all put together and I had to make it work, but that is a piece of glass. I had to cut the needle with a pair of wire cutters because I couldn't remove it. It was already glued into the toothpick. I drilled like a 1 32nd hole in the, into the toothpick and glued the needle in, but it was too long. So if you look really close there, that is totally jaggedly cut and rubbing against that glass. And that's causing a lot of friction and it kind of jumps around a little too. So anyway, that, that's a mistake I made. I didn't plan it out right. But still, it works pretty darn good. And the ring magnets on the toothpick are really, really small. I got those. I ordered them off of eBay. And um, they're, they're really, really small. I, I bet the hole is... I had to carve on the toothpick to get the ring magnets to go on the toothpick. That's how small the ring magnets are which I guess I could show you the ring magnets if I can get it in there right somewhere yeah yeah there they are right there that is one small ring magnet but so but yeah and then yeah um, yeah that's about it I think I'm gonna work on the other one I got that I showed in the first video. Um, but I'm pretty proud of this. I worked really hard on it and, and inspired by lead motor. My golly. But that, that reed switch, the thing I like about that reed switch is it's really loud. 
and it's, it kind of gives it character, I think. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked the video, and I'm going to work on my other motor coming up here shortly. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Well, I thought I'd throw in just a little bonus treat. I've just been running this on 1.5 volts. And I found me a 9 volt battery. And I hooked it up. And I'm just curious if it's going to fly apart. So, I think it'll be okay. But here we go. Just in the reed switch. Uh, move that in just a little closer. Mm -hmm. That needle's squeaking around on that glass because it's cut off, like I was mentioning. I'm going to try to get a little closer. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's about as close as I'm going to get it. It's holding up. Nine volts. Well, 8.22 .2 volts. And my current now is up to 90... Roughly about 90 milliamps on that scale. So, yeah. Well, that toothpick is really wobbling. But there you go. 9 volts on the magnetically suspended toothpick motor. Thanks for watching.